LCM pedals. And if you find the video helpful and you like sim racing, particularly if you're into Gran Turismo Sport, please like and subscribe. Okay, so as I said 12 months ago, I bought the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals. I've practically used them every single day since then. I really feel as if as though I've put them through their paces, properly tested out their performance and their reliability. And I'm going to tell you everything about that in this video. Also, 10 months ago, I did a video on the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals on how to properly set them up to get maximum performance out of them. I also did a slight review and that video got over 13,500 views so I'd like to just take the moment to thank everybody for that and also for your comments. Much appreciated. Now I feel 12 months later or 10 months after that last video that I'm much better qualified to give you a far accurate review. So that being said, let's get started. 1. Reliability. In the 12 months that I've been using the Thrustmaster TLCMs, I've never once had to plug the TLCMs back into the PC, get out the calibration tool and recalibrate the pedals or redo any of the settings. I simply set up the pedals in the beginning. I might have had to have stuffed around to tune it in and get it exactly how I wanted it, but once I got it how I liked, I just simply use the pedals and like I say, I've never had to recalibrate them ever again. When it comes to strength, my concern with the Thrustmaster TLCM pedals were the metal shafts on the pedals going into the plastic housing. This has proven over the last 12 months to not be a problem. There is no side to side play with any of the pedals. When it comes to the accelerator spring, after 12 months worth of use, it still feels very smooth and I have also noticed that the spring is still firmer than the spring in the accelerator of my T3 PA pedals, which have only had two weeks worth of use. The brakes performance over the last 12 months has been fantastic, I have to say. I've been using the red springs. And although I'm sure they wouldn't be as firm as what they were when I first got them, they still feel very, very firm. And I know that there has been a few times where I have overshot corners and really, really pushed on them as hard as I could stand on them. And um, yeah, look, they have taken everything that I've dished out racing in the FIA, daily races on Gran Turismo Sport. Like I said, I've had nearly 12 full months worth of use every single day with these things and um, they have seriously impressed me. When it comes to the clutch, I haven't actually used it playing Gran Turismo Sport, but it still feels brand new. When it comes to the pedal decks housing, which is made out of plastic injection moulding, I remember at the time when I first bought them that I was a little bit disappointed that it was plastic. Although after using them and having them bolted to my pedal deck for the last 12 months, I realized that they don't really need to be any stronger than what they are. I just thought that with that thin metal sheet over it, it was a little bit cheap. But when you think about it, it's a lot lighter and it really does serve the purpose that it's meant to. Two, performance. I also want to say that I have had some really, really good results with the TLCM brake pedals or just the pedals in general. I mean, it's the brake that we're looking at here mainly, but yeah, I wouldn't attribute all of my results to just the pedals themselves because I do have a pretty awesome rig with all the poo, but I mean, where are you gonna be without a brake? Really, when it comes to performance, all I can really tell you is that the 100 kilo load cell delivers as good as it should, as good as you would think it would, Certainly a lot better than a progressive brake. And all of the pedals, including the clutch, which I never use, but yeah, I mean, if you're F1 style using these brakes and pedals, like your accelerator and your brake, the performance is exactly where you want it to be. So at the end of it all, do I feel as if as though I wasted the $500 at the end of 12 months? Uh, no. On hindsight, I 
really do feel as though I haven't wasted my money, even though I mean I know you can buy them for about three hundred and fifty dollars at the moment, which I think is an absolute bargain. Uh, yeah, now I I could seriously justify paying five hundred dollars for twelve months use so far out of these pedals, and I know that I'm definitely going to get another twelve months use out of them if I want to. Okay, guys, that's my review. I hope that has helped you if you are looking to buy yourself a set of Thrustmaster TLCM pedals with your decision in buying them. I will be back very soon with some live streaming, more videos coming your way, and massive shout out to all of you who have been purchasing the iRacer merch, shirts, caps, and more available now. And if you're a sexy ass model, you think you got what it takes to model the iRacer clothing, well, go buy some. And then message me on Instagram. Okay, guys, that's my review. I hope that helped you out. And if you want to...